The word gospel can be found in the Bible nearly 100 times. And literally translated, it means good news. But sadly, many people have never actually heard this good news. So here's the gospel according to the Bible. There has only ever been and ever will be one eternal God. He is perfect, unchangeable, and without limitation. And He has revealed Himself to us through His Word, the Bible. He has created everything that exists, every universe to every cell, every star to every blade of grass, every atom that has ever existed, and every person, including you and me. And He has given us a code to live by and placed it within our hearts as a conscience to know right from wrong. But you and I on many occasions have chosen wrong. The Bible tells us that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That no one is righteous, not a single person. And because of this rebellion before our Creator, we have caused a separation between us and God. And the gap is so wide that we could not possibly overcome it by our own efforts. But some have tried. In realizing their sin, some people have tried to do good things to outweigh the bad. But God has declared that all of our righteous deeds are like filthy rags to Him. So others have tried to just stop doing bad things, thinking that then they will be all right. But the Bible says that if we fall at even one point of the law, that we find ourselves subject to the full penalty of that law as lawbreakers. And that penalty is death eternal separation from God. Because God is perfect and we are not, He is just in His condemnation. And you and I stand guilty before a righteous judge. But God loved us so much that He sent His one and only Son Jesus to this earth, entering into our mess, living the perfect life that we should have lived. And in regards to our standing before God, He traded places with us. He was blameless but He took the full punishment of ours, which is death. We stand guilty, but we can have His reward, eternal life. And God demonstrated His love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus died the death that we should have died, but He didn't stay in the grave. Jesus rose again, defeating sin and death, and sharing that victory with anyone who will believe in Him. Because of Jesus and the cross, we can now be seen as innocent in the eyes of God. A man once asked Jesus, what must I do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered him, this is the work of God, to believe in him whom he has sent. And that is the gospel, that anyone who will repent of sin and turn not to good works or a religious system or the traditions of men, but believe in Jesus Christ, the one and only Son of God, will be saved. The Bible says that it is by grace that we have been saved through faith and not by our works, that it is impossible for us to earn God's forgiveness by anything that we can do. God says that anyone who relies on his works is under a curse because nobody can be justified by his accomplishments. This gospel is so important to God that He warns us that if anyone adds anything to it or takes anything away from it, regardless of if the messenger is even an angel from heaven, God says that he will be eternally condemned. God has guarded His true gospel of salvation throughout the ages, and He now shares it freely to anyone who will hear it through His servants. God loves you in spite of your sin, and He offers salvation to you as a free gift of grace, if you'll accept it. And that is good news.